So this is a Frigidaire refrigerator with a defrost problem, as you can see there. This one has a defrost timer. I'm going to show you how to do point-to-point -point voltage check troubleshooting using a voltage pen. You have everything you need right here to determine which part is bad without disconnecting anything. This is the lead, one of the leads to your heater. Heating element, that's the other lead to your heating element right there. That's your defrost thermostat. Right now in defrost, you should have no voltage across that defrost thermostat. It should be a closed circuit. Closed circuit should have zero volts across it. If it's an open circuit, you're going to have a voltage difference across it. The light blue wire goes to one side of it and the dark blue wire goes to the other side of it. So I've got no reading on the light blue wire and I've got a voltage reading on the dark blue wire. That tells me you have 120 volts across that defrost thermostat, which if it was good and at this temperature, it's still connected to the evaporator coils. It should be closed and it's not. So we're going to replace that defrost thermostat right there. So this is what we just did schematically. By the way, this is a voltage pen and it flashes red and emits a beep when it detects a, an electric field associated with line voltage. So when you detect 120 volts, it's going to beep and flash red. When you're at neutral, it'll just, it won't do anything. It'll just show the green light. By the way, if you don't have one of these, there is a link to this voltage pin in the description of this video. So let's just use black for L1. And what we did, what we found was this is your defrost control here. And we found that L1 was traveling through the defrost element and we had 120 volts right here. And we also found, this is neutral here, that we had zero volts on this side, which means that we had 120 volt difference across this defrost thermostat. Now that's a closed, it's supposed to be a closed circuit. When the evaporator coils are down to temperature, this should be closed. And it's possible to have 120 volts across a closed circuit. That's basically against the law, uh, that law being Ohm's law, you just can't do that. So that means that our defrost thermostat is open. Another thing, another way to look at this is that in a circuit, the highest resistance in a circuit is going to have the most voltage drop across it. Defrost element is going to have somewhere in the order of 20 to 35 ohms, I suppose. But the defrost thermostat, when it's open, is going to have infinite resistance. That's a pretty high value. So you're going to have 120 volts across that. That will be the highest resistance in the what is really a series circuit. And that means it'll have essentially all the voltage across and you could have zero volt drop across this. But anyway, so this is what we found and that's how we were able to determine this defrost term stat was bad. Now what if we had 120 volts here, let's use black there, 120 volts here and we had zero volts here and that would mean that neutral was making it all the way over here. That would tell us that this is closed and that we have 120 volts across our load. Our goal here is to have 120 volts across our load. That's our ultimate goal. And your, your load is going to have to have voltage across in order for it to do any work. In this case, it's heat. So if we had this and we had no heat, that would mean that this is open. If we had this, 120 volts across and we had heat, obviously everything's working fine. That's not what we had. So another scenario would be, well, if you had zero volts here, and everything here was zero volts, and you had your 120 volts at L1, then something would be going on with this defrost control. You have 120 volts across the defrost control. During, free, during defrost, you shouldn't have that. So that would mean we have an open defrost. Something is going on with the defrost circuit. Lastly, if we had 120 volts coming all the way through here and appearing right here, then we definitely have something wrong because you can't have 120 volts and zero volts here in a wire. That would mean we have an open neutral somewhere. So those are the scenarios that could have occurred during this test. 
In our particular case, again, we had 120 volts across this, which meant that our defrost thermostat was bad. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting and informative. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel.